Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about job hopping and salaries. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why is it that some people claim that switching jobs every so often is the best way to raise your salary? Well, the short answer is that whenever you switch your job at the right interval, that's a key thing, you get a new chance to negotiate your, your salary based on more experience than you already have or than you had last time you got to do that. So when, because the industry like you, for programmers is very, very lucrative today where you pretty much have every single company looking for programmers and the, the, the demand is absolutely massive but the supply is almost abysmal. I think that the last number I saw was that roughly 1.5% or 1.3% of all programmers, professional programmers, are un unemployed. That's an, ins an insane amount of people. The, like, uh, uh, so rather, there's, that's a, a fraction of the industry. And everybody else actually has a job, which means that, but the demand is still so high that we have a deficit of several million people. So. The only way for, uh, for companies to actually fill the, their quota of developers is to headhunt them from other companies. That's the norm. That's why recruiters are calling every single programmer, just like they're just spamming people at this point. And the, as you can probably guess, there are just a few ways that you can make one person go from one company to another company, which means that whenever you are open to the idea of switching companies, they are going to have to give you some incentive to do that. And usually that incentive comes in the format of perks or better salaries or something like that. But at the same time, it's not like, you know, you can just jump every month and then, hey, everything is great, right? Because there is this, what I call sweet spot to staying in employed at a company. For a programmer, the average time they stand, stay at one company, uh, according to the statistics of on Stack Overflow, at least from the last two years, is between two to four years. That's usually how long a programmer will stay put. And so, well, pretty much what that means is that if you want to try and, and maximize your salary to the best of your abilities, switching jobs um, roughly every two, two or two, four years is the way to, to get to these positions where you can rene renegotiate your, new, your salary. Now, some will, uh, of course, say, claim that staying at the same company is a better way of achieving this goal. And that is true in some cases, but it kind of also comes down to how good you are at projecting value within that company. You see, the phenomenon that you're facing is that when you get to be a new hire, you are filling a demand, you are supplying a service or you're, you are helping a company out. They are looking for someone, they need someone and they're willing to pay to get that someone because they need someone to take care of something, right? There's a need, there's a here and now, they need to get people, right? But when you're in that company and you've settled in, then you are counted as just another resource. So in order for you to get and to give the company an, an incentive to to keep you around or to actually raise your salary from what they have already originally given you, you need to prove your value in a very different fashion. Now, usually the way you prove this value is by proving how good you are at software development or how valuable you are to the company. And that is a much tougher in general thing to do than to just be the new person that they hired. So by switching jobs free, a little bit more frequently, you all but guarantee that you are at least two, well, in this case, at least two, two years more experienced than you were the last time you did this. And you pretty much have guaranteed that you're going to have a, a well, I'm not saying power position, but you're going to have a better position of negotiation than you would if you were just hired at that company. Because if you're just hired, you pretty much have to, at least for quite a lot of companies, it comes down to your perceived value to that company. So if you're one of those people who just, who's really good at 
more or less interacting with stakeholders in such a way that you have a high perceived value, then odds are that they are going to negotiate with you for, like they, they will like, negotiate salaries with you and you might get something from it but as I said it's still it's a, it's a harder conversation to have now before I end this by saying that you should be job hopping I also want to state something that I believe that job hopping in this fashion for the sake of making money is not the way to go what I mean by that is that I believe that you should on a continuous basis evaluate how much you are gaining from working where you are working right now. What I mean by that is pretty much that the as a software developer your market value stands in direct proportion to how good you are at the at mastering this industry, how good are your technical skills, how good are your soft skills, how good is your architectural skills and things of this nature. These things like you are a commodity a commodity that is measured in how relevant your knowledge and skills are within this industry. In other words, if you have tapped out a place of work, in other words, you pretty much know how it works to work there, you pretty much know how to do all the things and you kind of know the system, there are no open positions for you to move up or to do something that will stimulate you or enhance new skills or something like that, then you have stagnated at that company. It might actually not take that long. For some people, it goes. It can go really, really quickly. And then you have to ask yourself if you're more, if you know, do you want to stay at this company to st stay comfortable, or do you want to find a new position and new challenges and kind of start learning new things because it's those skills that you acquire that seniority if you will that you will acquire that will lead lead to the even bigger paychecks because even if you were to try to job up every second year unless your skills are actually incrementing in some fashion you're still not going to be able to sell that oh yeah you have like junior skills but you should have a senior salary so what i want you to take away from this is that the reason why quite a lot of people argue that job hopping or like switching jobs at a certain interval is the way to raise your salary is because generally it is easier for you to negotiate a good salary when you are fresh hire when you st when you're starting out because you're fulfilling a demand from that company when you're hired and you're sticking around for quite some time your salary levels or your negotiation position is very tied into how good you're actually perform how well you're performing at that company and that is usually a tougher thing to to go through than to just have you know another job at another company where they're like desperate for people they they're willing to just pay someone to meet their clients demands and so forth and so forth so they're they're going to pay for it because that's the pretty much the only th most of most companies have no other option because there's not that many developers but i also want you to think about the, this idea that maybe the interval shouldn't just be every year, every second year, just because you want to make the most amount of money. Try to figure out if you have stagnated at the company that where you are and switch as frequently as what is going to enhance your skills. Because if you do that, then you're pretty much guaranteed that every new job is going to offer new challenges, a more stimulating work environment and a higher salary. Have a great day.